do you use turbos? Anybody use turbo capacitors? I have one for backup. Yeah, just in yeah, case, so one. odd size. I, yeah, I, like I the Linux. Had... Except yeah. they don't do good for that, I don't think. Oh, like when the you problem? need like the... Um, oh, the super like one, right? The X. Like a, I, yeah, you got to get the X one. Huh? I do used to keep one as a diagnostic tool. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just to run units and then yeah. see if they would run and then be like, okay, you need capacitor, you know? Yeah. But okay. I know a lot of guys put them on and they come back and put another, come back with the, you know, the factory one, but I've never had a problem selling one, like when it's a hundred degrees out, forget it, just stick it in there. I'm good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. You obviously don't value their time. Yeah. 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 Who comes back? I mean, I never, I heard that too. Like I come back and put the other one in. It's like, yeah, I don't who even comes have, back. Yeah. I don't even have a capacitor on my truck. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're, all, you're all three phase. Johnny three phase. <laughs> no. I don't have a single contactor or motor on my truck either. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's well, funny. Eric's not? actually not in the They field. don't want me to have it on the truck. <laughs> huh. why, why don't they want you to have it on the truck? Because, well, I don't use enough of, like, the same parts over and over again to justify stocking them. Man, I would think, like, a contactor would be nice to have. Contactor and, like, just one of the multi-run caps or something, just in case. I would think so too. Um, I might get a couple contactors, but I mean the the capacitors are just not. I run into them, but not like super. Like you know what I mean. I'm working on a lot of three phase stuff, so. Yeah. How many capacitors do you stock, Joe? I used a to lot. Have every size. Yeah, yeah. I have three of all the common sizes. Yeah, it's funny you could, and then you have all these capacitors, and you go out to your truck like. Oh, I don't have that one. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, oh, yeah. I got to get, I got to get that one too. Yeah. That's your Linux right hey. there. Yeah. Where's my 70 yeah, you, slash yeah. 7.5 at? No, yeah. I can't yeah. find yeah, it. You end up putting, you end up putting three capacitors in the unit and one of them is a dual cap. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like Just all these wires. Yeah. Compressor and condenser fan running. You got a dual cap in there and you're not even using it for one side. And then you got two other ones <laughs> doubled together to get a compressor and a condenser fan running. That's a turbo. That's how turbo was born. <laughs> It's exactly yeah. right. Just stock only five microfarads and just keep stacking them together and stock some seven five seven point fives to get the. That would actually probably and last the reams. Long, You're gonna need threes. Stock yeah, threes. threes and add yeah. the threes up. Yeah, those are starting to go away. Though <laughs> three, I have the three threes, threes on my forty-five <laughs> slash threes. I remember when they used to have fours. Yeah, that's yeah, right. They have, fours. They have two, yeah. two threes, at, twos, threes, and fours are pretty. They're actually more common than you think, especially if like you look at refrigeration small refrigeration condensers they'll have like twos and threes and fours on those little mm. motors in there that's interesting there's twos on the uh some of the draft motors on some of the package units i remember amanda yeah. what are those uh, uh those turbo capacitors you know like the, the big ones will last longer if it's like let's say it was a 35 5 because it has so much volume they would run cooler it would last longer yeah yeah mm -hmm. but you know I find a lot of them that are testing bad too. So, you know, I'm not an AMRAD hater, but at the same right. time, I'm not an AMRAD uh, fanboy just because those turbos, I'll check them and it's like, you know, about five years. Right. I don't think it, and it's like, longer. oh yeah. man, this 25 is actually at 18. And it's, you know. And then you just put another jumper on it. Sometimes. Yeah. Bring, in, yeah. bring in some I, more capacitance. I'm not saying I don't do that. I'm just saying. You know, I thought they were supposed to be be the best, but that's when Zach said the combustion air. That's the only time I've ever run or put them in series was to try to make that four. So Adam says put, a two threes and fours and sixes I think for I put inducer motors. Seven and a half in series, but th wouldn't that make four close to it? Yeah, it makes something like it's about half. I, mm -hmm. I don't remember. I don't remember there. I don't remember the formula. I know you can look it up, but I don't. Yes. Really have, it is good to know if you need to do it. They actually say that makes them. That really makes them last a long time. Well, it should. I mean, it's a huge, huge Bang. oil reserve yeah. and right. know, heat sink or whatever. Yeah. So like if you need a so, forty, you use two eighties. When when I started, the capacitors never failed. They never failed. You never yeah. carry capacitors. Yeah. You know the ones with the oil in them and all that type thing. Huge. Well, Stuff never broke in those units. I mean, you got original yeah. motors and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's bad for business. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
you want to watch more videos just like this one, click on this playlist right here. If you want to see our brand new video, click right here. If you want to find out more about the great sponsors that make this show happen, click up here. And to join our email list where I notify you when we're going live, click right here.